Hey there, everybody. If you're looking for some tips and tricks on how to pronounce English like a native, stay tuned. I have just a lesson for you. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to another episode of Reading Out Loud with Donnie. I'm Donnie Lord. I created this ESL channel for my students who are looking for a resource to practice speaking English like a native. You will find both text and video displayed in each episode, along with a few vocabulary words. While watching these videos, it's important for you to notice and imitate how my jaw, lips, teeth, tongue, throat, and nasal passage all work together to make the sounds required by the English language. Be sure that you pay attention to the speed and pitch of each word. If you need to, stop, pause, rewind, and rewatch these videos as much as you need to to make these words correctly. And if you can, record yourself. That way you can self-evaluate your performance. If these videos are helping you, hit that subscribe button. You will be the first to know when new episodes are created. And so if you're ready, we'll get started with today's lesson. How to reduce your accent. Four steps to speaking English like a native. Today's vocabulary. Assistance as a noun, the act of helping someone. Foreign as an adjective, of, from, in, or characteristic of a country or language other than one's own. Imitate as a verb, is copy or simulate. Intonation as a noun, is the rise and fall of the voice in speaking. Resource, as a noun, a source of help or information. Substitute, as a noun, a person or thing acting or servicing in place of another. Why do we have an accent? This occurs when a person speaks one language using some of the rules or sounds of another one. For example, if a person has trouble pronouncing some of the sounds of a second language they're learning, they may substitute similar sounds that occur in their first language. This sounds wrong or foreign to native speakers of the language. Ways to reduce your accent. Number one, speak slowly. Speaking slowly helps give your muscles and other parts involved in making speech time to move into the various positions required. Practice pronouncing all of the sounds correctly. Pay special attention to intonation and stress, both within the words themselves and the sentences as a whole. Number two, imitate a native speaker. Imitating a native speaker will help you build the muscle memory needed to pronounce English like a native. You can use resources like radio, television, YouTube, and other English speaking resources. My YouTube is a great place to start. Number three, talk with a native speaker often. While you're talking with a native speaker, you will get the opportunity to learn new words, ask for assistance if something is unclear, get help with certain speech concepts that may be foreign in your native language, and immediate correction of mispronounced words. Fourth tip, practice, practice, practice. The saying, practice makes perfect, is often used in learning an instrument and for improving in sports. The same holds true with learning a language. All of these focus on muscle memory. Reducing your accent is simply training the muscles involved in making speech. Using resources like tongue twisters and minimal pairs will help you tremendously. Thank you for watching another episode of Reading Out Loud with Donnie. I hope that you have and are learning a lot about English through these videos. If so, don't forget to subscribe, share, give me a thumbs up, comment, all of that great stuff. And if you would like personal one-on-one -on -one English classes with me, please hit the link. It's in the description. It'll look something like this. 
I hope you have a super day.